It is Officer Don and Deanne's backstage pass with our buddy John Party today. How are you, dear? I'm great. Good morning. How are you surviving quarantine? I got a boat. <laughs> you got a boat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we were on the boat last night. It was fun. It was, uh, I don't know. You know, we have a little group and we don't see anybody. We have our own vessel in all water, you know. Well, I follow you and Summer both on your socials. And I get to see some of that fun you're having. I love it. I love it, especially when Ray Lynn's with you. You guys like kind of step things up a notch. Just wild, crazy fun on the water. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what happens. Wild, crazy fun. And uh, I got a Centurion boat and we are surfing and, and it's like we did an evening ride like where we go out in the lake on at night and it's super peaceful and uh i guess you don't think about going on a boat at night but um it's got all the lights and stuff so you know, lights are good in the dark don't you think a lot of people are doing things well you guys especially as musicians are able to enjoy a night out on the lake when you would normally be playing shows i know you want to get back to playing though yeah i was like oh you know i'd rather be playing a show but no it's um, I try, you know, I try to take everything and make it positive because it's, it's so easy to just get down. And, um, so I would say like, you know, we're going to look back and like, that was a lot of fun, you know, uh, of course we didn't get to go play shows or do what we thought we were going to do, but you know what, life threw a, a curveball at us and we made the best time of it. And, uh, I look back and I'm just going to laugh and, and how fun it was, you know? Well, you know, we've all been forced to sort of stand down. Do you see any advantage in that with your writing or, or with anything? What's the advantage to it? Is it giving you a chance to think about different things business-wise or different angle performing or just miss it more? What's your overall thought on it? Um, I'm definitely writing a lot, um, but, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to overwrite because you can do that too. And I just, just I, you know, I got my little, I got a, some you know you got studio stuff and i'm learning how to make like drum loops and stuff and i've never been had time to do that and so just for songwriting pr process producing and so i'm just learning a lot of stuff that i never had time to do or never really wanted to put in the time but now that i have a lot of time i can <laughs> go ahead and try and uh, of course i've been working on the the, the farm and everything and it's uh it's I got all kinds of things to do. Let's put it that way. <laughs> how, how many how many acres you work in there, John? Uh, well, it's not much. I got fifteen at the house, and then forty down the road, and then we're gonna start. We're gonna try to timber the back forty. So, because it's never been timbered before, and there's huge trees in the the way. Because we want to build a road, but I mean, these trees are like like they're ready to go. Holy cow! Yeah, I don't know. Hey, I guess lumber's high it's like i guess i'm in the lumber business i guess you, I guess you better be right? hey hey john do me a favor put that mic over in front of you again because i can sure hear you a lot better there you go oh so, is it is it oh it's connected it's hot oh it is it is hot there oh, you go i forgot about that yeah i have zoom set up for that <laughs> hey that's nice i like it so your album heartache uh medication you co-write you co-wrote like seven of those songs on there didn't you yeah i fun do try project. to write half the record Did, uh, was that a fun project for you because i love i love the video i love that you came out with like this choreography you like dusted off your boots for it yeah yep no that was fun it's you know it's crazy like to even think that that I put that album out last year with all <laughs> yeah. but um no man when it was the music video i wanted to do some kind of dancing and of course summer was in the video and um i just wanted it to be fun and you know you don't really see to me male country artists like get out and dance so i was like yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it you know i can do it <laughs> and so we well, yeah we had to choreograph and uh went to the nashville palace which is super old school and we had a good time and yes, making that record was really fun. And it was also, um, 
you know, coming off of California Sunrise, it was like, oh, you know, you got had California Sunrise. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I made another record. It's good. Trust me. I hope you like it. I think it's great. <laughs> just in case, just watch me dance, right? Yeah, you just watch me dance. Day. And then boom, <laughs> nomination, album of the year. All right, I did it. Come on. I told you. I, right. I told you I had it. I got it. <laughs> Well, Ain't Always the Cowboy, the single off of that one, uh, we're playing now. We're excited about this one. Awesome. I'm excited. I want to get to some personal things. John. Okay. When are we getting married? I mean, not you and I, but, you know, you and Summer. Um, it's been a tough year to get married. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I was going to say, t- things have probably changed a little bit for you guys. You know, a lot of guys that guys that used to say uh, the gripes they want a small wedding. Now you're like, it's a good way to put it off and go, man, I want the biggest venue. I've got to have at least a thousand people there. When the governor says we can have a thousand people, when you have a grand, honey, then I'm going to marry you big time. Yeah. But right now we're going to have to chill. Is that is that what's going on? There's uh talking about a wedding tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to California and then we go to Texas and then we have a big Nashville party. But, um, you know, we really, honestly, we don't, we don't really know. We have, um, our second date that we chose and now we have like, cause you have to deposit everything. We're already going to lose money on the flowers if we c- cancel this wedding. But the point is, is that we're going to have, we're going to have like a cutoff date to where like, we don't have to pay the deposits. You understand what I'm saying? I, oh, then, absolutely. Yeah. So, like, I think it's going to be – it's going to be somewhere in September. <laughs> or, like, I said October 1st, hopefully, because we're going shooting for November. And um, so we'll see. But it's going to be real small, you know. <laughs> you can't have a big wedding anymore. <laughs> no. No, you can't do that right now. That's for sure. But No, I know. Yeah. And it's tough. It, mass gatherings is, is uh, kind of out the window right now, which which is – What's entertainment? You know, it's entertainment. Weddings are entertainment and and concerts and everything we love doing. So football, I mean, is football going to be, is football going to happen? I don't know. You know, that's. We all have so many questions. We all have so many questions and we're, it's, you know, it's a time of uncertainty. You were, you were one of the first to do uh, the large scale. What was it? Drive-in uh, live from the drive-in series. Mm-hmm in nashville how did that go and that i know some more have happened since then um it was great the nashville shows were great uh, live nation and brown o'connell did a great job it, it's a lot of work it's a lot of work setting up those big drivers because they're so big and like you think about it um when you got an amphitheater, they already got the seats and everything. They got the lawns, you know, this is like, they have to mark everything. And, you know, it's a lot of preparation to, to get it set up. And they did a great job. And I'm like, well, we're going to do more of them. You know, it's probably gonna, I would say if, if we, you know, whatever happens, I do see a sign of this being a thing until we Mm -hmm. figure out how to get back together. But there's just some artists like the, the chain smokers had a, uh show in new york city or i don't it was outside of, i think it was new jersey or something let's let's say it didn't look great for the live entertainment industry but we the way we did it like we didn't you know you didn't hear nothing about my show oh because nothing went wrong you know like there was it was all <laughs> it was all good you know yeah. why can't they just put positive news out right you know it's like um but so i'd see that the drive-in things could be an alternative until we figure it out. It's just, a, it's a lot. And I think right now with it, the COVID being so high, we just kind of got to, you know, all right, well maybe September or something we can do a little, you know, four date run or something. We're out because we're lucky around Nashville. It's like we all live so close to different States where we don't have to go that far to be in Georgia, to be in even Florida or, or, or Kentucky or, or, you know, or Louisiana. It's like, that's why Nashville was a touring. That's why Nashville is Nashville because back in the day you can drive a Cadillac, a, a, Cadillac, a Cadillac around and tour and play, play music. So I don't know. Something to think about. Obviously I've been thinking about it. <laughs> I, I think everybody's thinking about it right now. Mm-hmm. This 
just some ways to hear at home enjoy some music. That's right. John Party, we always love catching up with you. We can't wait to see the pictures of you and Summer. She's so drop dead gorgeous, by the way. Remember, oh, remember the day we had you and Summer at the, uh, we were at a horse farm mm -hmm. here in Lexington. Don, yeah. you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to see the horses breed or something weird like that. I don't know. No, no, yeah, no, no. I, I got the fluffer guy. He's the toughest <laughs> job in the business right yeah, there. <laughs> I mean, that guy's an unsung hero. I just wanted to give him some respect here. <laughs> this guy gets his heart broken every day. Not easy. Uh, <laughs> I love it. God pardon. Thank you, buddy. Hang, hang on here with us, okay? Almost all right. Our, our backstage pass with Officer Donnan began. <laughs>